Well, Air Gunners, welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. And today we have another beautiful air gun that we're going to be reviewing for you. And that is a Spanish made air gun made by Cometa. This being the Cometa Lynx in .177 caliber. It is also available in 22 caliber. And man, this thing is just gorgeous looking. And if it shoots as good as it looks, it might just be worth taking a closer look at. So uh, I want to thank Air Force International and Cometa Air Guns for getting this into my hands so I can provide a review for you, my viewers. And uh, before we get into groups and how well this thing really shoots, let's take a quick look at all the different pieces and parts of this rifle that make it actually pretty special. And that first thing is the wooden stock. You're going to notice that stock has checkering on the front, on the foregrip, as well as checkering on the grip. On the back side right here, you're going to notice it is also inleted for the hammer spring tension so you can adjust the air gun to meet your specifications. On the front end, you're going to notice that it comes with a shrouded barrel and inside that shroud is something very special. That is a cold hammer forged barrel inside of there. And if it is just as accurate as other hammer forged barrels that I have used, it's going to be a very good PCP. Also, you have an aluminum bottle. And at the end of the aluminum bottle here, you have your indicator gauge for pressure. And behind that, you also have a regulator. So yes, this air rifle is regulated. It does come with a 13 shot rotary magazine, single shot tray, 11 millimeter dovetails for your scope mount. And then it is a side action cocking lever right here. And that really is a solid piece. And you hear it snap in there as it locks in there. It's not something that's going to flap around with you out in the field. And then on the back side, you can probably just barely see right here, there is a notch cut out of the stock. And that is so you, as the end user, can adjust the hammer spring tension and get this gun rifle shooting to your exact specifications. This one, I did not tune at all. I have shot it as it came to me out of the box. You will also notice on the bottom side, you have a quick disconnect for your fill, as well as what is advertised as a two stage trigger. So all in all, it has the makings of a very nice air rifle, but does it shoot as well as it looks? Well, to first figure that out, we're going to have to see how consistent it is. And we went ahead and attached a chronograph to the rifle and chronographed it and over that, uh, time period, we got 50 shots that were regulated with a standard deviation of 6.5 feet per second, an extreme spread of 21 feet per second, and averaging just around 862 feet per second. So that puts it around 18 foot pounds of energy. And of course, I was using the JSB Exact Heavies 10.34 in 0.177 caliber. So as you can tell by the graph, it is a very flat line and that tells me that you're going to get some nice consistency from shot to shot. Of course, that only goes so far if it isn't shooting. I went ahead and set it up at 50 yards, set a target out at 50 yards on a fairly calm day, a little breeze uh, blowing from left to right and I got some nice groups. And I'll tell you, it was a real pleasure to shoot this air gun. And I had a couple other guys down at the Central Ohio Air Gunners Club try it out for me as well. And they said the same thing, that it really was a good shooter and it was grouping for them and it was grouping for me. So let's take a look. We have uh, the groups that I provided uh, were at 50 yards and we are looking at 0.991 inches and that would be 0.8 one four inches center to center. So almost three quarters of an inch and definitely well underneath the one inch mark, which would be plenty accurate for a field target rifle. It did have one slight area that I would like to see some improvement on from, from this rifle and that would be the trigger. And you know, it is a consistent trigger, it is a decent trigger, but is not a great trigger. Uh, it did come in with a pull of one pound, 10 ounces, and it is advertised as a two stage trigger, but it felt more like a one stage trigger, meaning you had some travel back and then the gun would go off. 
uh, it, you know, something that you can get used to. Obviously, I was able to still produce consistent groups, but it is an area that I'd like to see refined in this Bicometa in the future. If you're looking at purchasing this rifle, it does have a little bit of a length of uh, a, a trigger pull here. It's a little bit of a long reach to the trigger if you have smaller hands. For me, I found that the thumb up position worked best. Uh, also, um, it could be refined a little bit more. You'll notice it does have a side cocking action here. And when I first got to shooting the rifle, it was a little bit tough to do. And over, you know, several hundred shots, uh, probably approaching closer to a thousand shots now on this rifle, it has smoothed up quite a bit. And if you're somebody that likes to work on air guns, you could probably speed that process up by going through and polishing the internal components of this. Of course, that would void your warranty, but it was something that over time it did improve. And the nice thing about this cocking lever here too, is that it has a distinct click. So it's not gonna be flopping around on you at all if you're out in the field, if you're shooting a field target event or anything along those lines. Also, the another thing that I would like to see improved or changed about this rifle in the future is I'd like to see them go ahead and upgrade this from the aluminum bottle to a carbon fiber bottle, it would do two things. One, it's going to reduce the weight and it's also going to increase your shot count. But remember, you're getting 50 shots from this rifle that are regulated and that's really good. That is, I mean, light years ahead of where we were this time eight years ago or so. And we were looking at unregulated rifles and probably getting shots between 25 and 30 shot counts. Uh, so we've come a long way and really it is quite a treat to be able to shoot this air gun and have the opportunity to try it out for you guys. A couple of things on the horizon for Kometa. Kometa does have a new air rifle that they have developed called the Kometa Advance. It has not been released in the United States yet. It has been released in Europe and hopefully Air Force International is going to consider importing that rifle into the United States here in the new future. And then also you have the Orion Bullpup. Both of those appear to have a new trigger system on them. So I'd love to get my hands on one, try it out for you guys and see where we're at. But uh, unfortunately, they're not here in the States and I can't do that for you just yet. That being said, for an air gun that falls between six and $700, depending upon where you're shopping, it is really a nice piece of equipment. One that can bring you plenty of enjoyment and one that you will definitely have fun with on the range. Before you guys go though, make sure you check out some of my other videos and other reviews on air rifles. And until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we're going to see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor.